Good morning, everybody. Don here again. Hallelujah, it's not raining. Man, I have not been able to get out more than once a week for the last month. And uh, just because we've had so much rain, and every evening we've had thunderstorms. I mean, there's parts of New Hampshire and even more so in Vermont that have just been devastated by serious flooding. So I can't fish any of the rivers, which I'm jonesing to get out for some smallmouth action, but uh, the rivers are all chocolate brown and raging. So I'm on this small pond. I haven't fished this pond in two years. Um, caught some decent bass in here. I've ice fished in here, although I didn't ice fish this past winter. Uh, and there's some decent crappie and perch too. So. We're going to be uh, trying for bass first, and then we're going to see if we can catch a crappie or a perch or something. I'm wanting to cook some fish. Mosquitoes are wicked. It's a little foggy, but it's nice. I'm going to head up here. I'm going to throw the uh, buzz bait for a little while. I've been having a little bit of luck on the buzz bait. Let's get to fishing. Oh, oh, he yanked him right out of the water. Oh, shoot. It was a little bass. Oh, man. I hit him. <laughs> he came right out of the water. Sorry about that little fella. I hope I didn't dislocate your jaw. All right, I'm gonna give the buzz bait a break. Had that one hit. Got the, uh... oops, that's not what I want. Though I will want that in a little bit. That's what I want. Fitz Dinger. Let's see how the Fitz Dinger does in here. Just gonna say there's a beaver lodge up there a little ways I remember. And there's a lot of uh, brush in the water. I've had some pretty good luck there. <clears throat> Got a big tree that comes into the water there, beaver lodge over there, and a stump right over here. It's uh Throw to that stump. All right, we're gonna throw that uh, Texas rig TRD with a little weight on it. See if that makes any difference. I don't want to get tangled up in that mess of beaver chew over there, but maybe I need to get down a little deeper. Alright, so yesterday I went to Dick's and I was able to stock up on that uh, Easy Shiner. They had three packages of my favorite color. Let's try that for a little bit. It's Mr. Beaver <laughs> right in front of me. There's the lodge over there. Well, slow morning. Come across 
past this point. That bay in there is wicked shallow, so I'm just gonna skip that. Right out in here when I'm ice fishing, that's like 25 to 30 feet deep. And I know this shore gets deep pretty quick. You need to switch it up again. worm rod out put on big blue yeah this thing sinks a lot quicker than the yum dinger See, hopefully he didn't take my bait. Oh, he did. Look at that. Robbed my big blue Sanko. Well, something wanted it. Might have been a pick. I don't know. But took the whole bait, so. Uh, but I have another. with these things is they're just not that durable but man do they catch fish got him oh what do we got oh come on oh, oh. <laughs> threw it well it was a bass at least it was a bass I got a good hook set on him, but apparently not. Well, that's two hits on the uh, black and blue Sanko. Oh, it's supposed to hit the water. I got that one. Ah. Oh, he's a jumper. Little guy. But the skunk is off the boat. First bass of the day. Hey, so that's a third hit on this black and blue sank. A 10 inch bass. I don't care. The skunk is off the boat. So right on this shore here, I had one nice one that took the Sanko. And then I lost one on the jump. As you saw. And then I just landed that one. Not a big one, but... Broke the ice. Got him. Oh, feels like a decent one. Oh yeah. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, he's peeling drag. Oh man. Nice fish. Yeah, this is a good fish. He's peeling drag. Come on up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, did I lose him? Oh man. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's a real fish. Whoo wee! Right in the corner of the mouth. 
Oh, hey, easy does it. Easy does it. Get my pliers. Nice fish. Probably 16 inches or so on the big black and blue Sanko. Whew. Thank you, sir. Whew. All right, that fish was digging deep. So you guys know how much I love to throw to timber, logs, timber, stumps, always hold bass. That's why I love the stump field so much. The stump field is part of a flood control area and you know, last trip I guess maybe, uh, I wanted to go to the stump field and it was closed. I drove by there the other day and it's still closed. I, uh, I called the Army Corps of Engineers and uh, talked to one of the rangers and it's going to be closed for a while. We need some, uh, some dry weather before they open that back up, which is too bad because that's an awesome spot. Got him. Oh, feels like a, another decent fish. Oh man, pulling drag. Gotta love it when they pull drag. Oh yeah, another nice fish. Whew. All right. Hey, settle down, settle down. Oh, he choked that yum dinger. Not bleeding. No, oh, he's probably 13, 14 inches. Hit that uh, dark green pumpkin yum dinger hard. The bite has not been stellar. I've caught three fish. I've lost. I've lost three. So I mean, it's not bad. Could have a little bit better action, would be nice. In a little while, I'm gonna quit bass fishing and I'm gonna drop a uh, crappie jig down in this deeper water, see if there's any crappie interested in, uh, in that. Maybe some perch, who knows. I switched over to a five inch Sanko to sink a little bit quicker. This is a uh, June bug, just kind of a dark purple with blue and green flakes. We'll see how that thing does. They seem to like the darker colors today, but. Uh, got him, didn't get a good hook set though. Oh, there we go. Another bass. Oh. Come on, I'll let you go. <laughs> Small bass, but I saw him hit the surface back there. And I don't know what's that? Number four, number five. I don't, don't remember. But he hit the surface. I flopped the. Uh, June bug right over there and he smacked it. Well, it's about nine o'clock. I only intended on fishing two or three hours this morning. I've been out uh, for four hours. What'd I do? What'd I do? What'd I do? I think I landed four bass. Um, two on the black and blue Sanko, one on the yum dinger, green pumpkin with the chartreuse tip. And then that one fish I saw jump, I tossed over, I think I had a June bug Sanko on at the time, and landed him. Lost one on the uh, buzz bait, yanked him right out of the water. Lost a couple fish on this shore that seemed like one of them was a decent fish. 
but uh, it's kind of a slow morning. Um, man, I really want to get on the rivers and fish for smallmouth, but I don't know when that's going to happen. The, uh, the rivers, like I said earlier, they're raging. And this is the, really the uh, first really decent day I've had a chance to fish in over a week. <sighs> Looking forward to this weekend. My boy Jesse's coming home and hopefully next week we'll get him up to my favorite pond where there's both smallmouth and largemouth and uh, get him into kayak bass fishing. That's going to be a blast. I can't wait. But for now, I'm going to head back to the house and uh, call it a day. Thanks for coming along today. It's kind of slow, but it's all right. We'll see you next time. Peace.